Hi, Sue here from Mystic Matters with your October 2020 tarot read. Um, as normal, I have doused for the cards, so they're all ready to go. All right, we're starting off the, off the month here with the moon, which indicates that really we won't know where we're going. We feel like a boat on the ocean, no oars. There's lots of confusion, illusion, all sorts of stuff that's going on. So we can't really start off October with a real handle on what the truth of anything is. There's just this feeling of not knowing where we're going. Haven't, haven't got a clue. Haven't got a clue. And the first um, 10 days or so, I, I split the month into threes. So the first 10 days or so, uh, the, the tower card. Now, for me, this is this is all about housekeeping. It's clearing out the old in order to leave room for the new. Now, in reality, it can be quite difficult if we're very, very attached to the things that start to leave us. And that can be jobs, it can be people, um, any, any situations that we're not ready to let go of. And that that is what creates the pain. It's this kind of holding on desperately for things that are no longer for us for the future. Um, so try and remember that we don't lose what's ours. What is for benefit for us for the future and is still meant to be in our life will stay. Um, and the things that are going will be replaced with something else that will be a benefit to us for the future. So it's clearing out the old um, and the, well, you don't have to do any clearing. Things will start just disappearing. So just breathe through it and know that nothing that is meant for you will leave you. So just try and hold on to that knowledge. Um, but it's also what's around it is saying one of the ways that you can make it easier is to actually try and be in a home environment. This is gathering money and resources, keeping the home fires burning. So if you can just focus on your direct surroundings, the people that maybe you live with, the, the, the home that you've got, the, the place of comfort, the place where you feel most at home and most comfortable, where you can be yourself, if you can hold on to that and remain solid and stable and be nurturing towards other people as well, you'll find the chaos of the things that are going, the chaos of, and the confusion that's going on around you won't have so much of an impact um, because you will have put yourself in your own little bubble and the things that are going on outside will have less um, possibility of kind of, uh, like I said, impacting you. Around the middle of the month, again, a bit still on the same theme, because this is, these are the bonds that you, that last a lifetime, whether it be with an intimate partner or with friends and family, but this is all about the very best of love and love relationships. So again, hold on to the people that are the closest to you, who love you, support you through through all things, the people you can rely on. You're going to need them around this time. And it will, they again, will give you an anchor and you will give them an anchor too in these, uh, kind of, I think, volatile times. That's all I can say about uh, kind of this month. There's quite a lot of volat volatility. Who, the truth, everybody thinks they have the truth, but nobody really has all of the truth. Um, so there's a lot of stuff going on. So hold the people that are closest to you, very close to you. It will give you a feeling of stability and it will give you an anchor because again, around the middle of the month, you're going to have to look at what no longer serves you. And the devil card, another major arcana card, um, is saying, look at your habits, what no longer works for you, um, what is holding you back. So it's not what anybody else says, um, it's none of their business, but you, it could be giving up smoking, 
um, diet and exercise, giving up negative thinking, um, changing your thoughts about things. But it is a personal development journey with the devil card. There's also a tendency to give up that you have to watch, uh, watch for as well. But the devil is really about you looking at yourself and saying, okay, well, this habit of mine or this way of living worked for me in the past, but it's no longer really working for me. What do I need to do? What do I need to change in order to embrace something better for the future? And this very much ties in with the tower card of the things leaving your life um, and you haven't had to do anything about it. Things are just starting to go. But now is a time of taking stock, a self-evaluation and saying, OK, those things have gone. What else? What can I do to better prepare for a better future? Uh, because I need to change. There's things about myself that are outdated. I need to change. So this is you really looking at yourself, or all of us actually, and thinking, OK, let's see what I can do to make a better future. And from that place, there's a kind of a lightness comes because I don't know about you, but when I make a decision to actually do something, to apply myself to something, there's a feeling of relief. There's a feeling of I'm in control of my life now. The, the outside forces aren't in control of me because I have made a decision to do something or, or the other, take a course, look after, you know, maybe diet and exercise or give up bad habits, things that aren't helping me. <clears throat> so there, there comes that feeling of control, that feeling of being in charge of our own lives when we, when we embrace the devil and um, make the changes necessary. And here we've got a feeling of, lightness a feeling of i want to go out and have a party I, i'm fed up with all this heavy energy i'm fed up with all the chaos around let's just go and have some fun let's you know let's let's change the pace and that also comes when we've um we've taken control we think okay well i'm fed up with all this i'm going to turn off the news and go and watch a, a comedy or something is that kind of kind of energy and from that you see as soon as we lighten up when we don't take life so seriously then then what, what happens is like it's like well, who am i what's my purpose why am i here on this planet i've started to make changes things have started to go there's a lot of confusion around but i've got good friends i've got lots of love around me um i've got good relationships i'm 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 staying grounded and so what can I from that kind of springboard where can I go from here from here and as soon as we start answering asking the question who am I what's my purpose why am I on this planet at this time then a, new projects will start to turn up because we'll be ready for them then and with this because in the cave um, is a hierophant and the hierophant is a teacher and then it's like new projects that the money angle won't be as important as the drive is something I've got to do. This is something I'm passionate about. I do it for nothing. I just this is something that 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 pull that draws me, shouts to me. So this is where we can end up at the end of the month if if we extricate ourselves from the outside chaos of the world of large at large at the moment. We need to focus on ourselves and stay grounded. There is a tendency for worry at the end of the month, whether it's something that happens externally that causes us to worry, or if it's something that happens, maybe a reaction um, against everything that's happening externally. But the thing about worry is if, it, what it, we do is we cut off our intuition, we cut off our guidance, and then we end up in a prison of our own making. So if there are things that are worrying us, the best thing we can do 
is write a list. This is the advice I tend to give when this card comes up. Write down a list, write down everything that worries you. And if you can do something about it, do it. And then you don't have to worry about it anymore. And if there's nothing you can do, what's the point of worrying? Because by focusing on it, you're just drawing it to you. So if, if worry does hit um, at, towards the end of the month, then look at it and think, okay, I'm not going to sit with this. I'm going to I'm going to get to the bottom of what's worrying me, see if there's anything I can do, and then let it let it go, because I don't want to be imprisoned. I don't want all these I don't want to go in a downward spiral. Um, especially when I've started to kind of go into new start to get into new things. And sometimes when things start to open up and it, you get excited about a new project and then you look outside your door and the world is in turmoil there's kind of what well, can i really do it is 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 the atmosphere right is the environment right for me to do this and then we can fall into worry we start having doubts but our luck for the month is success people patting us on the back and saying well done so if we can just as I said before, if we can just turn off the news, turn off the all the the stuff that's likely to trigger trigger emotions and fear, turn off that, concentrate on the things in our lives, our personal lives, our friends, our families, our homes. If we can focus on that, not worry about what's going on externally because we don't have any control over that that's out there all we can control is ourselves and our own environment um and said so with inside the front door um and then we will come out of this stronger feeling lighter in spirit um because fear attracts fear and and it's a really uncomfortable place to be living in fear. But if we can realize that this is all trans transitory, this isn't gonna last forever, um, all this chaos, confusion. Um, and then we will come out of it a feeling lighter, have much more a spirit, much more spiritual clout, as it were, because we will be rising above the, the craziness. Um, we will we will have been an anchor for people who who needed us. We will be a kind of a solid and stable place for them to come and talk and have a chat and help to dispel their own fears. And people are going to think you've done really well, and you will gain more respect amongst the people that know you because you would have shown a strength by not running around so your tail's on fire and just saying i'm just looking out for myself my family and that is all i'm concentrating on this month this is it might be different next month maybe i'll be called to do something different but this month is about my friends my family my home and the people i care about and and my new project. So I hope that's been of help and I wish you a really um, prosperous and, um, and comfortable October. It's, it's um, as I said, it's a bit crazy out there. So focus on you, focus on what you can control and all we could ever control is ourselves, isn't it? Hey? So, uh, Good luck for October and uh, see you next month. Bye.